UFC 299 has just wrapped up. Here is your Full Mount MMA recap. Hey, I'm Mr. Beast, excited to be at UFC 299. It's been crazy so far. This is actually my first time coming, having a lot of fun. Hey guys, we are in Miami, UFC 299. I'm excited for main event. I'm gonna fight whoever will be new champion. Let's go, I can't wait. Let's go, guys. So I have a 4.9, but I canceled two in a row. One of them I lied on because my wife was pressuring me to just pick something and I said that I couldn't find the driver, which is- It's quite frazzled. Quite frazzled about this. I had a great, I had 4.9 stars. And that was because one time you puked in a, in a car. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm at like 3.8. Mike, how's that Uber rating right now? Hey, dude, <laughs> come on. Tell it wasn't me. Tell the he people made at that home. Up. He made that Tell up. the people at he home. Hey, up. I was I was a 4.95 star, and then no. she made me cancel two. I lied on one of them. They know they can track you. I'm probably sitting at like 3.7 right now, and I take that stuff seriously. Man, oh man. Yuani Jacek was inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame tonight. Here was her live reaction in the crowd. So so all to kick off the main card tonight, Piotr Jan defeated Song Yadong via unanimous decision. Aljamain Sterling reacted saying, what a scrap. The amount of pressure on Jan, I could only imagine. Song looked so good in that first round, but maybe that wrestling exchange drained him more for the later rounds. Close fight, great fight. Sadiq Youssef says that was straight heat. Alexander Volkanovsky says Piotr Jan hurt his leg in the first round and came back to win the last two rounds. Umar Nurmagomedov says 2-1 Piotr, and Kenny Florian reacted saying Jan delivers with some nasty spice. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I feel myself good. I'm very happy we'll be here and uh, with my win. The way Paul Schultz. Yes, I expected it. Song is a very tough, young and aggressive opponent. So that's what happened. Yeah, uh, I believe I'm a versatile, well-rounded fighter. I have a good boxing, but I've been, I think for a while I've been a universal fighter. I believe in the first round I hurt my knee, maybe torn my meniscus. So it took time for me to adjust. I was trying different stances, but you know, it's been a year and I got the win. I'm here, I'm not going away, I'm still learning, you know, thank you for support. We're still gonna win a lot. Jack Della Maddalena defeated Gilbert Burns via knockout in the third round. Terrence McKinney reacted saying, no way. Damn, that knee will get you every time. Derek Brunson says, wow, crazy unlucky for Gilbert. Good fight by Jack. Ben Askren says, holy sh**, he just snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. JDM has some really good striking and is very competent in the grappling also. Drikas Duplessis says, wow, what a comeback. Aljamain Sterling reacted saying that was insane. Steven Thompson says, wow, this sport is crazy. Jamal Hill reacted saying, damn, that knee was nasty. Alexander Volkanovsky says, Jack Della is a problem. Dan Henderson says, I always hated leaving it to the judges. Good finish by Jack. And Paulo Costa says, Jack is so accurate. Michael Venom Page defeated Kevin Holland via unanimous decision. Polo Costa reacted saying embarrassing. Ariel Hawani says all MVP. Holland couldn't quite figure him out and seemed really frustrated by the end. And Mike Perry says Trump watching this fight because of me. LOL JK, great fight. You know what, it's weird because I was being very, very hard on myself immediately. And I, I always go to that, 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 that place first. And normally I get a moment in the change room to sit before I start doing like the rounds. And my coach is like, just remember what you just done. 
and kind of just like whipped me back into shape. So I actually, I do feel amazing. A lot of people were doubting me. I was the underdog. Uh, and it's like, they're, they're saying a lot of people are like, oh, how come he couldn't finish him before? I was never going to win this fight. So you know what? I'm very proud of myself for just, just being here, just proving myself um, and just putting on a, you know, a, a good performance. I, I did want to be better, but I still put on a good performance. Dustin Poirier defeated Benoit Saint-Denis via knockout in the second round. Conor McGregor reacted saying, great fight out of them French boys tonight. Islam Makachev says, very impressive, Dustin. Justin Gaethje says, at Dustin Poirier, with a diamond emoji. Paul Felder says, bravo, sir. Ben Askren writes, Benoit Saint-Denis was just being totally reckless with his strikes, and Poirier put him to sleep. Terrence McKinney says, fight of the night, even with less than two full rounds. What a scrap. Bilal Muhammad says, he ain't retiring anytime soon. Andre Feely writes, Poirier got that dog in him. Paulo Costa reacted, saying the diamond's still brightening. Dan Henderson says one of them wasn't making it to the end. Nice right hook to finish it. Umar Nurmagomedov says beast. Cub Swanson reacted saying, damn, that was gangster. Steven Wonderboy Thompson says Poirier is that guy, man. What a stud. Jason Mayhem Miller says the tenacity and willingness to take risks is why Dustin Poirier continues to be my favorite fighter. Alexander Volkanovsky writes, now that's what experience looks like. And now Jermaine Sterling says, let's go Dustin. Hell yeah. Good old faithful left cross. Right hook to close it over a tough MF. Let's go! Night, night, baby, let's go! Woo! Let's go! You got me, baby, let's go! It felt great. It was kind of rough, like, not emotion-wise, but just a little surprise. He, he wasn't a very big puncher, but he's very strong. He was a big 55er. I wonder what he weighed tonight. He, he felt really solid. Um, and his grappling skills were, were decent, you know? I was like, I'm, I'm sitting here losing rounds to this, this kid. Also, he didn't, he didn't take me down. I took myself down jumping guillotines, and I'll do it again, damn it. When I had the high elbow, Mike said, don't do it, right after he just told me in the corner. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm here at Little Woodrow's watching the UFC card with all these amazing UFC fans. And for the main event, Sean O'Malley defeated Cheeto Vera via unanimous decision. Aljamain Sterling reacted saying the body shot at the end could have been the fight. Nasty. O'Malley looked great tonight. Some moments where Cheeto rallied back, but Sean won every round in my book. Tim Welch says Cheeto Vera f***ing warrior. Ben Askren says masterful performance by Sean. Cheeto fought hard, but he didn't have what it took. Hanato Moicano reacted saying great performance by Sean O'Malley. Masterclass striking. And Cheeto is a fighter with a chin and what heart. Mohamed Makayev writes, what a fight. Paulo Costa says, I must be drunk. Alexander Volkanovsky says, impressive work from Sean O'Malley. Steven Wonderboy Thompson writes, Sean O'Malley's feint and distance management are some of the best in the game. An amazing striker he is. Dan Henderson says, gotta go out on your shield, but figured it'd go five rounds. And Andre Feely says, incredible main event. Sean O'Malley with a beautiful performance. Still proud of my boy Cheeto. Dana! Give me a jet to Spain, baby. I'm coming for Elia Deporia. And if he doesn't want it, I'll nah, f it. I want Elia, baby. Give me Elia. It, he's a scary dude. Elia excites me. Going up a weight class excites me. But I'm honestly, I'm here for whatever. If you guys want me to knock out Marab, I'll do that too. But Elia's an exciting fight for the people. <laughs> Francis Ngannou released a statement since his KO loss to Anthony Joshua. Francis posted this to his Instagram. He wrote, sorry guys, I let you all down. Today was a bad day in the office, but tomorrow will be another day. Thank you all for the love. Sean O'Malley and Marab ran into each other backstage. Uh, congratulations. Well, you should mention my name. Oh, I didn't know who that was. Hey, you have to fight. 
And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. These comments are in reference to Francis Ngannou getting knocked out by Anthony Joshua. The first one's from Angry Dana White. It says, Drake curse is real. The second one's from Batcave. It says, Chael Sonnen can't let Jorge Masvidal get close. And the final one says, Cheeto, Aljo got booed against Henry. Who gets booed against him? Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.